What I'd like to do now is start to add some equipment. Pretty much the equipment dictates the main part of our layout. I like to go big to small to smallest. So I like to go to my rooftop units or my AHUs, down to my VAVs, then down to my diffusers. So what I want to do first is I want to throw a rooftop unit up on the top of my building. In my project browser, I'm going to go to my roof level. Now what I want to do is I'm going to zoom in over here. I think I want it over in this neighborhood. I'm going to go to systems. I'm going to go to mechanical equipment. Now I know I don't have one of these big boys in here. So I'm going to click on load family. I'm going to scroll down to mechanical. MEP for sure. I want to go to airside components. I want to go to AHUs, air handling units. And I want to scroll down till we get to M outdoor AHU horizontal. That's my favorite. I want to click on open. Now I'm going to put it right about here. I'm going to hit escape a few times. Now I'm going to select this unit. Generally, this will be up on some kind of curbing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it an offset. I'm going to go around 305. Enter 305 millimeters or one foot. I'm going to give it a little bit of an offset. Okay, we've got this in here. Now I want to go down to my ceiling plan level one. I like to hit my ceiling plan when I'm putting in my VAVs just because I like to see where there's a hard ceiling or where there's a suspended ceiling. Generally, you want to put it somewhere where you can access it without having to cut a hole through some gypsum. So what I'm going to do is, now that I'm down here, I'm going to go to Mechanical Equipment. I'm going to click my drop down here. And I know we've got a couple of VAVs in here that I would use. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to grab my 300 millimeter inlet. Now my offset, I'm going to type 3048 and hit enter. Now I'm going to put that up in here somewhere. I'm going to hit my space bar. Notice that I can rotate it. I'm going to rotate it into this orientation right here. Not that it really matters, but this is where I want it. So I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to hit escape. I've got air coming in, got air coming out, and we've got return. I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to select it. I'm going to scroll down here. I'm just going to look at some of my parameters. I'm going to come down to mark. Instead of two, I'm going to call it VAV-1. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to select VAV-1. I'm going to click copy. I'll make one copy for now. So I'm just going to pick an endpoint down here. And maybe I want another system down here somewhere. So I'm going to pick a point here. But notice the mark, VAV-2. Pretty cool. This is going to come into handy when we start tagging stuff. I'm going to hit escape a few times. I'm going to go back up to my roof level, but make sure you're going to your roof level floor plan, not roof level ceiling plan. As a matter of fact, I'm going to right click on roof ceiling and I'm going to click delete. We don't need that anymore. So I'm going to double click on roof. I'm going to select my AHU. My mark is going to be AHU dash one. Now I'm going to click apply. I'm going to hit escape a few times. I'm going to go to a 3D view. And it's not much, but we've got a good start. Know that we can copy these VAVs around anywhere we want. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back down to level one floor plan. Now I'm going to go to my section marker and I'm going to click a section. Now I'm going to cut my section right through here. I'm going to move my extents up into here a little bit. I'm going to double click on my section marker. Now think about it. If we want to run some duct right down this building, then connect into it. This section marker is exactly how we're going to do that. 